Here comes a storm Here comes a storm What is up, Scar and I bring in you Let's Play Pokemon Emerald Version, episode 28. In the last episode, I uh, took on two battle tents, got them both mixed up because the one in Furtherance Town is the one that you spiritually let your Pokemon fight on its own, and the one in Fall Arbor is the three round one that I thought it was. Um, well, yeah, pretty much I got it mixed up. So, uh, in this episode, the reason I'm in Mauville is because I want to sell my items right quick. Because I've been having like three nuggets and all these other plays or other stuff to sell, and I haven't done been doing that. I am stuttering like crazy, but that's fine. Let's do a Stardust right quick. I want to just sell these. I'll explain the new item that I got in the last episode in a little bit. I just want to go take care of these things with three nuggets and stuff. Look at that. I could have got all that money and it would have been nice, but I just don't have it. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to do that pretty much and then put away a couple things because in today's episode, I didn't even explain it in the last episode, but today in this episode, we are actually going to go in the trick house because since we got the heat badge, I believe that's what it's called, um, the trick house is reopened again. So every time, basically, we get a badge, we could go in there and, um, you know, do all that type of stuff. So, what items should we turn in? So, we have the Black Flute in this last episode, a glass flute that keeps away wild Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put away the Hyper Potion, because no Pokemon I have has 200 HP. Um, I kinda don't need these two, so I could just put it away. Yeah, I think I'll do that, because I don't need that. Um, I'll put away the Red Candy. Uh, Red Flute w could be helpful, but I don't think I'll get attracted anytime soon. I'll, I'll get that back if I have, like, male Pokemon or whatever in the future. Uh, snaps out of Confusion, that's helpful. I see I'll keep that just in case, I suppose. That's helpful. Um, Elixir, Wave Mail, I, I don't know. I'll just turn it in just because. I could just throw it away, honestly. Um... I'll turn in the elixir and you know all the ethers and stuff. You know, and the, you know, just just in case I go in the Pokemon League and you know, I might run out of stuff, it would be helpful then too. Soft sand. Uh, I mean, I do have the Quick Claw and Cartman, but I'll just do that. Um, I have one revive. I should buy more revives. Okay, I think I'll do that. Maybe not in this episode, but uh, yeah. So, I forgot to mention something. In two episodes ago, when I was doing the the desert place, I'm going the wrong way. I I'm, I'm just have desert in my brain, and I was getting going there. But to get to the trick house is down here. Um, but I was saying, uh, two episodes in the desert place, I did have to put filler footage. I'm not going to say where. If you guys can figure it out, you get bonus points because I, I usually in every Let's Play have like hidden questions and whoever figure, figure it out gets like 10 bonus points and I'll put it right here to, uh, to uh, you know, I'll, I'll put the 10 bonus points if you can figure out where I put filler footage because it corrupted again but I was able to fix it. And it was really difficult. It was really difficult. That's like your only clue there. Um, I'll give you a clue. It has something to do with a certain Pokemon move. But either way, we finally made it to the Trick House. Three steps to the right and two steps up to reach the Wondrous Trick House. So, uh, yeah, let's go inside. You're being watched. Aha! So he's hiding in the drawers, is he? Always have a glint in your eye. Ha! Grr. How did you know I could see myself in this dresser? You're sharp. You, you come to challenge my trick house, or haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your challenge accepted. Enter through the scroll then and let your challenge commence. I shall be waiting in the back. Ah! Alright, cool. There's a big hole behind the scroll. Want to go in? Yeah. So, this is the Rock Smash thing. Cool. 
So let's go rock smash these rocks. Luckily we do have rock smash still. I don't know how far I need rock smash though. Um, I, I can't remember in the game or how far in the game I need this, but yeah. I keep coming back to this same place. Alright, so since uh, I haven't talked about Pokemon typings in such a while, after I face Camper Justin, we face Kecleon right here. Oh jeez. Um, I was gonna say is, um, I haven't talked about all the typings and such, and uh, yeah, so far, last time I talked about it, I was at the 4th gym, and I was saying um, about normal types and fire types. So right here, I just much shot at the Kecleon so I could water gun it afterwards. And that will be super effective still. So yeah, I just kill Kecleon. So uh, water type Pokemon, uh, what they're strong against is... I'm already having trouble and then you have to beat me? It's not fair. They're strong against fire types, water type, or, uh, sorry, fire types, ground types, rock types, and so on and so forth. Jeez, I could skip all this. Hang on, I want to face all the trainers first. I don't get it. What would anyone want to, uh, want with a house this bizarre? Um, what they're weak against is just grass and thunder, so that's what makes it a really good type. Especially since, um, playing in any... Playing in any Pokemon game, you really need Surf for everything. You have to go across the water and such. So it's always really helpful, and uh, it's just how it is. You, I, I feel like I always need a Water type Pokemon in my team. Um, what they resist uh, is like Fire type moves and Steel type moves. Um, I don't know, I don't think they resist much. I think that's about it, actually. But what other Pokemon resist it, um, is just, I believe, other water type Pokemon, grass type Pokemon, and that might be it, as far as I remember. Um, but surprisingly, Steel type, which resists every, uh, every Pokemon type, um, except for what's the super effective against, water type Pokemon doesn't. Is it is not affected by that, and we get, we see another nose pass here. We haven't seen a nose pass in such such a long time. I keep on stuttering today. I don't know why. I say one word and like you could kind of hear the little mini hiccup there. I don't get it. How do I lose? We're already almost level 31. That's pretty good. Pretty good right there. All right. So there's the scroll right there already. Do I have to? Jeez, man. Jeez. I have to be tricky about this. Oh my gosh. Hang on. Let me go over here. I'm going to be smart about this. Let's go down. And then let's press it. Boosh. And we found a scroll. We memorized the secret code written on the scroll. Cool. Um. But yeah, that's pretty much it about water type Pokemon. There are two Pokeballs right there, and I could just go to the thing. There's only three trainers here, and I was only planning to do this the entire episode. But, I mean, it's not even past ten minutes yet. Jeez. I don't know what you're going on here. I'm starting to feel sad. Um, other Pokemon types, I suppose, Picnic or Martha would like to battle. Skitty! <clears throat> uh, well, grass type. Let's do that. So, grass type are super effective against rock, ground, and water types. Level 31, so I can switch out my Pokemon now. And it's trying to learn takedown. Is it worth it, though? Let me check my other moves. Uh, tackle. It's 90 power. That's actually really good. I kind of want to just get rid of Bide, personally. Uh, at the same time, I'll get rid of Tackle. I feel like Bite will be helpful once again, coming up on the gym challenge. So we got rid of Tackle for Takedown. 
and Swablu. All right, cool. Let's we're fighting against Swablu now. Let's go with Skarmory because uh, Kyle will get four times affected by Swablu, and I don't want that. Um, but other things that that's as far as super effective goes with Grass type Pokemon. What's super effective against it is Flying Bug, Fire, Ice, and I believe that's just it. And um. I need a switch Pokemon. You, you're awful. Thank you. Anyway, let's go switch my Pokemon. I'm gonna go switch. Uh, I wanna. Yeah, I'll switch Carmen or not Carmen. Well, that too. It's the same thing, pretty much. Kenny in the front. So we got Shadow Mail. That's fine, I guess. Um, let's go over here. Yeah, I could just go straight there, huh? Um, just checking if I miss any trainers. I think there was only three. I thought that there was going to be more than that. That's why I kind of separated this. Alright, uh, well we did it. So Stan wrote down the secret code on the door. Trickmaster is coveted or something. The lock clicked open. Alright, cool I guess. Hey, I beat your challenge under 10 minutes still. Oh no, it's 11 minutes. Never mind. Ah, you made it to me! Hmm, you're sharp. It took me all night to prepare the wall panels. You're almost my equal and grain is by one, two, three, four places. Fine, you have earned this reward. And we obtained the Hearthstone, which is good with rock-type Pokemon. Scrub that smug smirk off your face! It's much too early to think you won. I'll make new tricks to stump you. I will, you make mock me only when you're done. Come back for the next exciting installment of, uh... what I say the first time, like... Digimon and then... Yu-Gi-Oh or something. Oh, I said Dragon Ball Z the first time, then Digimon. Come back for the next exciting installment of Barney and Friends. All right, that works. All right, so let's do this. Uh, I don't know why. You know, this is a very long hallway, but I wish I could run indoors. That's something I never pointed out. But yeah, that's just how it is. Um, now, uh, we got plenty of time, but I think right now I could, I could go try to take on the gym and, uh, only face the trainers, because I don't think this episode I should face off the, uh, my father yet. I'll save that for the end, or by, by the end, I'll just save it for the next episode. So it's something to look forward to, you know? But yeah, let's just go on forward, and uh, I'm gonna go take the Vernon Turf way, so I could go on the Rust Turf Tunnel. And uh, yeah, so other things that grass type Pokemon about them, I already talked about the weaknesses. They resist ground type, which is really good. Um, they resist water type. They resist. Um, I think that's... Oh, electric types. But besides that, I think that's it. Um, I don't think I've mentioned that poison types also super effective on grass. I, I think I missed that. So, flying bug, poison, ice, fire, all these types. I think I'm just going to take a shortcut right here. Yeah! Yeah! There we go. We did it. We're in Rustboro City. Now a couple more places to go from here and then we are good. Then we are good. Um, so that's what grass type resists. What other Pokemon resist them is fire types, steel types, uh, poison types, bug types, and... I, I really think hard when it comes to what what you know the other way around what resists them because that's not something I always think about. But we finally made it to Petalburg City. Let's just heal our Pokemon just to make sure, and then we could go take on the gym. And there's actually a lot of trainers in the gym, so it's not the worst thing in the world to do this. I think that might be it though. I don't ever think about what other Pokemon resist them. It just, I just naturally think it. I'm all like, I shouldn't do line up with this with this because of this. But yeah, let's check out this gym. 
Uh, Petalburg City Pokemon Gym Leader Norman, a man in pursuit of power. Now. All right. Hey, how's it going, Champ Bounce Stan? The door in this gym opens when you beat the uh, waiting trainers. Whoops, the door in this rooms are already open, so don't attack me. The trainers of Petalburg Gym use all kinds of uh, items. The door at the left leads to the speed room. The door at the right leads to the accuracy room. The room's name will be on the door, so choose carefully. Once you've chosen the door, well, hey, go for it. And uh, it splits up into branches, so I am definitely going to face all the trainers here. So I'll start off with the accuracy room since I have Skarmory on the top. So yeah, accuracy room. The science says, do you want to go through? Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> this is the accuracy room. It's pretty nasty when every attack lands without fail. I'm okay with this, though. I'm okay with this. Cool trainer Mary would like to battle, and she has one Pokemon as a Delcaddy. Alright. Um. But yeah, I think that's it about the grass type Pokemon. And I did say if I have a gym episode, I wasn't going to talk about typings and such. You have Shockwave? It's fine. I think I could do it with Steel Wing. Um. What's another thing? I, I'm pretty sure I could take uh, other strong waves too. I thought she was good at like do swift or something. I'm pretty sure she has that. Come on, don't miss. I'm pretty sure I got this. Um, I think that's it about grass type Pokemon. So bug type Pokemon. I think that's like the last type. You were cut above me. I need to heal my Pokemon. Potions. Let's use another potion. We, we got plenty of potions. We might as well use them. And I just want to look at the names right here. Defense room, this side says. Um, and what does this room say? Recovery room. Alright. So I think after the two rooms, it splits off into other two, so it'll be four in total. So let's go in the speed room. Let's go through. The ability to attack before the opponent. Just that alone puts me at a great advantage. Don't you agree? Alright, so for bug Pokemon, they're strong against Psychic, Dark, Grass... Uh... Is that it? I think that's it. Um, what's super effective against them is Fire, Flying, Rocks... Um, fire flying rocks. And I think that maybe that's just it. They resist ground. And they resist. I'm sure. They, they resist poison. I'm trying to think if they resist dark. They might. I'm not sure. But we defeated Randall. That was a magnificent battle. So does it really splits off into four or is it three? Hang on. Confusion room, the sign says. Alright. So what does this room say? If it says def or yeah, defense room, yeah, it's defense room. So yeah, it's going to three. I'm gonna go into the confused room. Confusion room, let's go inside. Alright, I'm ready to face you. This is the confusion room. Let me see how well bonded you are with your Pokemon. All right, one Pokemon with Parker. Yes, yeah, Spinda. I had a feeling you're gonna use a Spinda. Um, I don't know if Bug Pokemon resist dark. I'm gonna say no. Oh my gosh, you gotta try to focus punch me. Don't miss. I swear you miss. Okay, good. <clears throat> that would have been terrifying. And thing about focus punch, you know, if you hit it, then it, it will resist it. Maybe I shouldn't use. Steel wing because it has potential to miss, but I got it. Nice, nice. 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 Level 31. Nice. 
So we defeated Parker. I couldn't confuse your team enough. You share a strong bond together. I think what he was trying to do is if he confused me and I hit myself, I would have uh, got potentially focus punched on. So I'm going to go switch Berloom in the front just for mock punches and such. Strength room. Okay. Let's go in the other rooms. Um... Yeah, so we're back in this one. It's gonna be the same thing if I go on the other side. Let's go in the defense room. Let's do it. And then after this, I'll go back down and go in the accuracy room. Or maybe it wasn't accuracy room. Wasn't it recovery room or something? The higher the defense, the more reckless I can be in attack! Um, so Pokemon that resist bug is fire... Rock, steel. I'm pretty sure. Well, Ghost resisted. I know that much. But what was I gonna say? I'm pretty sure Poison also resists Bug. If not, then I'm not sure. Wow, that did a lot. That was pretty good. Oh God, double edge. That was gonna do a lot. A normal type stab move. I didn't do as much as I thought. Hi, FX Spore. FX Spore. FX Spore. Full, full restore. Oh, hyper potion. That's fine. You can't attack now. You're confoozled. Alright. One more mock punch and that should do it. Yeah. Yeah, how you like that? So, uh, yeah. Player defeated Alexia. Our defense weren't enough. Alright. Let's check... Let, let's... <laughs> let's just... Let's just check uh, the rooms right quick. Strength room. So at least to the same room. Was it just one room at the far left at the confusion room? I think it was. What is this room? One hit KO room. Oh my gosh. Alright. Well, let's go back in over here. There are some even stronger trainers waiting for the left in the defense room and the right in the recovery room. Your Pokemon attack will all... Power will be on trial either way. Okay. Well, let's go to recovery room then. I don't know why I decided to talk to her. I, I assumed that was the trainer. I was thinking in my head, maybe I should have just checked the room if I'm in the right place. But yeah, recovery room. Just when you think you're going to win, your opponent restores HP. Can you just imagine how awful that must feel? I'll show you exactly how awful it feels. Sound a little bit redundant there, but that's fine. Um, is there any other types that bug resists or anything like that? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Here's Slack Off, though. And I didn't even heal my Pokemon, but that's fine. I don't think Slack Off could do anything. It resists. Or, not resists. It still lives. Shadow Ball. That's pretty cool. You have Shadow Ball. So, do you have leftovers or is that Citrus Berry? Mm hmm. Alright. Mock punch. This should kill. Alright. Play defeat a cool trainer, George. I couldn't restore HP enough. What's a, what attack power? Alright, let's go heal my Pokemon before I forget again. Um, I'm pretty sure I talked about everything. I might have forgotten something. Uh, what bug... Uh, what other stuff resist? I feel like fighting types resist bug as well, though. But other than that, uh, we could talk about the new type. One hit KO room, the sign says. Uh, what was the other room? It was just a strength room, right? So there's two more rooms after this. Um, this is the strength room. Let's just go inside the strength room. And I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah. I just want to go down right quick if this is the accuracy room? The next room is strength room. Okay, yeah, I refaced you. I just want to make sure. I'm kind of like, you know, kind of get easily disoriented sometimes. Our gym leader told us to go out and beat you, even if you happen to be the leader's kid. Well, dang, man, take it easy! Jeez, I'm just 10! But yeah. Co uh, cool Trainer Jody. I almost said Cody. Zangoose. Oh my gosh. 
That's fine. It's the strength room, so it's gonna like soar Zans up, right? It's gonna soar Zans up and on me and stuff. Oh. Well, Zangus doesn't have the best defenses. Oh my gosh, it's sword dancing like I thought it would. Alright, this is Mach Punch. It's gonna. Hyper Potion. Well, that gives me another Mach Punch after this one. Which is good. Let's just do another Mach Punch, and it's down. There we go. So, uh, yeah, there's only one more type I need to talk about. Player Defeated Cold Chainer Jody. But I went all out! I think I might save that just for not the next episode, but the following. But yeah, Gym Leader's Room. See for yourself what Pokemon awaits you, the sign says. I don't want to go in yet. There is another room I want to go in, and that is the last room for today because this is the one hit KO room, the sign says. You want to go through. Let's do it. And what is inside this room? Let's go find out. I'm not going to take it easy just because you're our leader's kid. I'll show you how horrid it is for a Pokemon to take a critical hit. Oh, jeez. He's going all out on me. So, yeah. He's got to use uh, Burke with this Vigoroth. Oh, jeez. Alright, so what you got, Vigoroth? We're going to use another Mach Punch. So, one hit KO moves are like Horn Drill, Fissure, Sheer Cold. So, you gotta use Slash, OGs, and other stuff like that. And we just killed him without a problem. That wasn't even one hit KO, man. That's fine. I wasn't at full health anyway, so I can't. I guess I can't really say that. Level 31. We have all level 31 Pokemon. Player of the Feet of Cold Chainer Burke. Power, you're the real deal. And yeah. So this is the gym leader's room. See for yourself what Pokemon awaits you, the sign says. Do you want to go through? Let's do it. So in the next episode, it's going to be me versus my father. Who's going to win? Who's going to lose? From the beginning of this journey, he told me that uh, to go challenge him, we need to go get four gym badges. And now here we are. So in the next episode, we will do just that and face Norman, the man of pursuit of power. White Tigers and Dragons too.